Hi, you may or may not know me, but my name is Gabe Sastenbeth and I am a photographer and videographer based out of Fort Smith, Arkansas. Today's episode is going to be a little bit different than the normal content that I put. I posted out a Ask Me Anything on my social media channels and um, yeah, we're going to answer them today. So first question comes from Darian. She asks, you're always going to cool places. What are the top three on your travel bucket list? Okay. So, uh, number one, hands down, would have to be Japan. Um, Funny story, we were actually planning on traveling to Japan this year, but then uh, the pandemic happened and, you know, the people, citizens of the U.S. were restricted from traveling to any other international country. So, um, yeah, that plan kind of got messed up, but um, we're still hoping to go one day. Um, The reason why I want to go to Japan is um, I've always been a huge anime nerd and... um, just also just really was fascinated by Japanese culture and um, just really want to go check it out. Um, hopefully it lives up to my expectations. If not, I traveled overseas, so that's still cool. Um, number two on my list, um, I would have to go with Iceland. I think Iceland would be really cool to go and see. Um, I am a fan of mountains and scenery, um, so mountains over the beach any day, um, and Iceland is just known for the views, man. Uh, I'd want to go check it out and go see um, all the amazing views. Um, we went to Canada a couple years ago, and Canada was amazing and beautiful, and I know Iceland will be like 10 times as beautiful. So yeah, number two would be Iceland. Number three. Um, there's not really a specific for number three, but I would just want to go somewhere to go check out the um, natural wonders of the world. Um, so anywhere like the Great Wall of China or the pyramids of Egypt, um, just any of those things just to go see in person. I think it'd be really cool to go check that out. Um, but yeah, those are the top three places. Number one is Japan. Number two is Iceland. And number three is to go see a natural wonder of the world. Maybe all of them. Um, next up. We've got Joy. And Joy asks, what age are you planning to be a dad? Um, I should ask you the same question, Joy. What age are you planning to be a dad? Um, but anyways, uh, being a newlywed, you know, me and my wife, we get asked this question all the time. Um, and the short and simple answer is, I don't know yet. Um, there's a lot of things that we want to accomplish before we actually, you know, try to have a kid. Um, and we're not even sure if we want a kid yet. Um, there are a lot of responsibility and we don't know if we're ready yet, um, as people and as, uh, financial adults. Um, but yeah, there's a lot that goes into a kid, but for sure, me and my wife have talked about, um, we want to own our own place first. Um, right now we're renting, um, just to save money, but yeah, definitely we want to own our own home first and then we'll see about having a kid. So sorry to everyone that's wishing, um, you know, we have, we're sorry to everyone that's wishing we have a baby, but you're just gonna have to wait a little bit longer. Yep. All right. Next question comes from Ricky. Ricky asks, why EQ? So funny story about this. I'm going to answer it anyways, even though he thinks it's a joke. Um, Ricky is one of my best friends. Um, for, I've known him for a little over 10 years now. Um, and we always like to joke with each other and tell each other that we're cute and all of that. But anyways, Ricky, to you right now, um, I'm not cute. I'm ugly. Um, and yeah, just accept it as it is. You're the cute one. That's why you're the cutest. Next question. We've got Stephanie, Stephanie, the sister-in-law. And she asks, why do you love potatoes so much? Well, my love for potatoes started a long time ago. Just kidding. Um, I love potatoes so much because they're actually just really versatile. Um, they come in so many forms and you can't really get bored of them. Um, you've got mashed potatoes, potato chips, french fries, hash browns, tater tots, potato chips. Did I already say that? I don't know. But all its forms of potatoes are delicious except for potato salad. I do not accept potato salad as a good form of potatoes because it does not taste like potatoes. You can argue with me all you want, but yeah, I love potatoes just because they're so um, versatile. There's so many different forms of them and they're all so tasty except for potato salad. But that answers that question. Yeah. 
All right, so next question comes from Tony. Tony is Ricky's brother and also one of my best friends. He was in my wedding um, this year as one of my groomsmen. Tony is a real ride or die guy. So, you know, if you see him, shout outs to Tony. Tony asks, what challenges do you face as a husband? Um, so me and my wife have been married for eight months now and um, definitely one of the biggest challenges going into the marriage, well not going into the marriage, but after the marriage was um, just kind of the whole dynamic of making decisions. Um, you know, when you're single, you make decisions and it doesn't affect anybody else, you know, for the most part. Like you make a decision and um, you just have to take yourself into consideration. Um, but when you're married, um, you make decisions and um, you're kind of making decisions for the both of you guys because, you know, most times when you're married, the, the efficient will say like, you know, two become one. And I think that's a really, really um, good way to put it because um, no matter what happens in your life, if you're married, then, um, you know, you and your wife are, you and your wife or your husband um, or your spouse, um, you're in it together no matter what. And so any decision that you make affects one one or the other person, whether um, you like it or not. So uh, I think a lot of that, a lot of the challenge has been giving up, um, you know, that selfishness aspect of just making decisions for yourself and also just taking time to consider someone else. So that'd probably have to be the biggest challenge. Um, and also just, um, it's our first time living together. So that's a big challenge as well. Just getting used to each other's habits, um, and levels of living, I guess that makes sense. I don't know. Just living habits. Um, those two have been the biggest things, but really what it boils down to is, you know, just learning to be compassionate towards her and taking her considerations into consideration. I don't know if there's a better way to say that, but I said it. So there's that. So number, oh, I didn't even know we're numbering it, but next question comes from Tiffany. Tiffany asks, what is your dream job? Um, for the longest time, my dream job has been to um, work for something like National Geographic and travel around the world and capture photos and videos and have them published into an editorial. Um, and that still is kind of my job, but I think more than ever now, um, I've just really kind of wanted to adopt the mindset of building wealth um, and also just being free to um, to kind of do what I want. And not, not really saying just like, um, just go wild and be crazy. It's just more of like, hey, if I want to, um, well, let me backtrack. It's not so much of just doing whatever I want and being free that way. It's being more um, financially free. And that means that, you know, um, if I want to drop a couple hundred dollars on a plane ticket to Hawaii, I want to do that without worrying about it, without having to save up money or, you know, working towards it. Um, and ultimately the goal would be to um, be at a place where I don't have to, I know this is cliche, but be at a place where I don't have to trade my hours for money or basically go in every day to work for money. I want to be at a point where um, the money that I have actually makes more money for myself. Um, so in doing that, um, this year with COVID and everything, staying home and um, having more time on our hands, um, I've gotten the chance to get into investing. I'm still very much a novice, um, but I've been researching a lot about um, money and compounding money and you know growing your wealth but that stuff really interests me uh, i got into the stock market trading and got a little bit into crypto trading um you know just all over um but the end goal is ultimately to um work for myself and be rich so yeah high goals but we'll get there one day next question pam asks what would your last meal be um in case you haven't guessed it already my last meal will probably be potatoes in some form <laughs> but uh honestly yeah so i would have to go for a steak and a baked potato 
um a really really good home cooked steak would be amazing um either that or hamburger and french fries freaking love hamburgers and french fries um nothing beats a good old smash burger um but if i had to pick anything else i would have to go with um something that's home cooked from my mom um i think that would have a really good nostalgia aspect of it and um you know, it'd be nice as a last meal just to just to remember something from my mom and just enjoying that. Um, specifically, what meal I would go with? Um, I would go with chicken wings, sticky rice, and uh, tamaghong. And if you guys don't know what tamaghong is, tamaghong stands for papaya salad, um, and it's a Lao dish where you mix up padek, which is like fermented fish. Uh, sauces, tomatoes, um, papaya all together and it is uh, sweet, sour, and spicy and it's delicious. Eat it with some chicken and sticky rice, mm, you're in heaven. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't complain if those, that was those, any of those three things were my last meal. Alright, next question. Dylan asks, when will you let me drive your car? Um, so this is a funny question because a um, little backstory. Dylan is actually um one of my old youth members that um you know he went to our church and he was in the youth group um okay so there's a fire um in fort smith right now apparently there was a gas line that broke i don't know if you guys can see it here but this is Yeah, that's crazy, man. I hope everybody stays safe out there. Um, that's pretty scary that there's a fire out there. Um, but yeah, pray for everybody. Hope you guys stay safe. Um, hope the firefighters get the fire out well. Man, that's crazy. But Dylan asks, um, when are you going to let me drive your car? Um, this is a funny question because Dylan is a old youth member of the church that I used to go to and I used to serve as his, I guess you could call it youth theater. Um, so I've known this guy for a long time and you know, as typical teenagers, you want to uh, drive a car before you get your license. And this guy would ask, always ask me, he's like, Gabe, when are you going to let me drive your car? And the ongoing joke is he'll never drive my car. Never, ever, whatsoever. Not even get a chance. Um, <laughs> I just thought it was funny to say no all the time. Um, but he would even ask me like, Hey, what if, what if I bought your car? Would, would I let you drive it? Would you let me drive it? And I'd be like, no, I would never sell you my car. Even if you like took it from me, I would never let you drive my car. He's like, dude, okay, what if, what if you passed away and I took your, I grabbed your car. I was like, no, I'll come back as a ghost and, uh, haunt you and I won't let you drive the car. But yeah, I just thought it was funny because, um, yeah, the joke still continues. Uh, Dylan, if you're watching this, no, you can't drive my car. Never. Not in a lifetime. Not in a million lifetimes. Um, you can drive your own car. All right. Last question. Kevin asks, what is your favorite anime? Oh, man. There's so many to choose from. Um, I don't know. It comes in seasons. I don't know if I'm just a follower of hype, but I usually like the ones that are um, pretty popular right now. Um, right now, there isn't one that's on that is my favorite. Um, I guess the most recent one, my favorite one would be My Hero Academia. Um, that one's pretty cool. Look, a lot of good animation, pretty good story. Uh, I like superheroes, so that's a thing. Um, all time favorite of all time. I would have to go with School Rumble. Uh, if you guys haven't heard of it, look it up. It is a slice of life comedy uh, anime and it's like took place in the 90s. But yeah, that one is probably my favorite just because it's hilarious and um, it has. Uh, I, I cried a couple times watching it and it's a pretty good story. Um, but to kind of summarize it, it's about this guy that likes a girl, of course. But he always ends up in awkward situations and they are hilarious. 
but yeah one of my favorite animes school rumble um and then i guess honorable mention i hate to be basic but dragon ball z um that and that's probably the one that got me into anime or introduced me to anime just like a lot of us uh 90s kids you know we watched it week to week we watched goku charge up for one episode just for it to end and um yeah no one no one will ever be able to experience um waiting for the episode where goku turns super saiyan for the first time all right well that wraps up this episode of ask me anything um just doing something different for the channel and i don't know if we want to do some more drop some questions in the comments below um i guess that's it for now so i'll see you guys in the next video bye